The webbing is a critical component in all Headrush Technologies devices and is a wear component that will eventually need to be replaced. It is extremely important that you complete regular inspections of your device and webbing, and that you replace your webbing when it shows unacceptable wear. First, what does acceptable and unacceptable wear look like? This is what your webbing will look like when it's brand new. Headrush devices will have either black or zebra webbing depending on the model. As webbing gets used, you'll start to see some wear on the sides and the face of the webbing. It is important to look for the following conditions when inspecting your webbing. Look for damage, cuts, or abrasion to the stitching. Cutting, wear, and abrasion to the surface of the webbing. Discoloration, fading, or chalking of the surface. Heat and friction damage such as hard or shiny areas. Contamination from dirt or chemicals, or twisting or knotting of the webbing. If any of these conditions are found, replace the webbing immediately. Regular inspections of your device and webbing are required for all Headrush Technologies devices, as well as more thorough six-month inspections. See your device manual for complete details. When inspecting your webbing, make sure you have adequate lighting and unrestricted access to permit a thorough inspection. Inspect the condition of the carabiner, checking for wear and damage correct operating of the locking mechanism, and smooth operation of the carabiner swivel. Note that there is no swivel on the quick jump carabiner and no carabiner on the zip stop. Slowly pull out the webbing from the unit and inspect the complete length of the webbing. Inspect the sides and both faces of the webbing for damage. If excessive wear is found, replace the webbing immediately. Once the webbing has been inspected or replaced, allow the line to slowly retract while maintaining tension on the webbing. Do not allow the line to twist and make sure the action is smooth and adequate resistance is felt. Finally, return the device to service and check for correct operation. If you notice consistent issues with webbing wear, consult your device manual for potential causes and solutions. Some common causes of excess webbing wear include incorrect mounting or orientation, sun exposure, moisture, surface abrasion, and twisted webbing. Remember, it is essential to conduct regular inspections of your device and webbing to ensure proper operations and to gauge the condition of your webbing. Once you see damage or excess wear, you can easily replace the webbing by following instructions provided in the user manual.